And sure enough, this was hot and the battery was hot because it's been sitting there for hours. So I couldn't then do the firmware update. I had an absolutely bloody nightmare um, doing this. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a little uh, look at a, the DJI Neo, brand new drone out on the market. Um, just a quick um, little story to tell you. I've sold the Mini 2, I had the DJI Mini 2 4K capability controller. I had the four, um, the Fly More combo, three batteries, battery charger, the lot. Sold it, the DJI Neo came out on the market. I've watched a load of um, YouTubers, I presume they had three uh, models to show you. I bought this one out of my own pocket. By the way, great little bag, kind of concept, concept bag. Really, really cheap, bargain. Gets everything you know I need. Fits the cameras on that I use. Incidentally, I'm filming on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Fantastic little camera. Um, I've got, uh, still using the GoPro 12. Tempted to get rid of that at the moment and go all DJI. I'm looking at the action camera next. Anyway. Brand new to me. Bought in my own pocket. A lot, lot smaller than I thought, I must admit. Um, palm sized a lot lot smaller than the DJI Mini 2 I sold recently um, didn't get a control this just got one battery um, down the local shop 179 pounds in the UK 179 UK pounds drone one battery and I paid a little bit extra for DJI care refresh and I've got another battery coming through the post I had the DJI Mini 2 uh, fly more combo never tended to use all the batteries to be fair i went down the local park rivers fishing done a few flights and um went back so i never actually used all three batteries so i thought i'll get one with this one with one battery it comes with and then um i'll get another battery at a later date which i've got coming through the post i did pay a few pounds extra i think 18 pounds or 19 pounds of dj i care refresh i thought i'd better make an effort this time around because um i have lost drones in the past I'm not tending to fly this over water. I bought this purely, a lot of people have been moaning about the 4K capabilities. I noticed in the settings, I updated the firmware the other day, and I noticed in the settings you've got a, um, a D-Log button which is greyed out. So I'm assuming at a later date you're gonna get some, some uh, more firm, firmware updates, I'm sure they will. It's 4K, 30 frames per second, and I think it's 25K, 30 frames per second, uh, I think 60, I'm not sure it goes up to 120, but um, I'll be shooting at 4K. Grab all the pixels you can, apparently, I've been told years ago. Grab as many pixels as you can to work with, okay? So I'm gonna have this on 4K, 30 frames per second. I tend to shoot in 1080p on my normal cameras. I'm shooting in 1080p now with this camera. 1080p, 25 frames per second, which is what I, I use. Or 10, uh, 4K, uh, 25 frames per second, or I go slow-mo. So anyway, with this little drone, I'm not sure how great the camera is. Never used it before. There's been a lot of negativity on the YouTube over this. So I'm gonna, Take this up in a minute, just made in voyages. Get a little cover with it, just literally comes in a small box. That bag there, fantastic little bag. Kind of concept, I'll put a link below to that bag. And um, so I'll take a little flight up. Quick little story about this drone. A lot of people on YouTube, I gather, have got these as free gifts. I paid for this out of my own pocket, having looked at all the um, videos. I bought this, I'm not stupid, I bought this as a content creator. My Mini 2 didn't have a follow me or active track or anything like that. So it just literally flew it with a controller. I'm going to use this for content creating. I want this purely for doing fishing videos and um, holiday videos along the beach or fishing videos where you can actually follow me along the river bank and stuff like that and the, the, um, the lake. That's the reason I bought this. So I bought that for a particular reason. Um, it does loads of different modes as well. So I'm going to have a little play now. Quick story about this. I've not ever seen anyone have troubles with this. I had made major troubles. Be warned, you need over two gig of memory on your phone. I didn't have over two gig of memory on my phone. I had to delete the DJI software and start over, re-downloaded the APK file and reinstalled it. it took ages, it literally took me four to five hours to reinstall. Deleted, 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 loads of stuff on my phone, still no good. Ended up deleting a load of, up, funny enough, I ended up deleting some footage that I took when I bought this at the store and I was excited in the car and I opened it up using my phone. Haven't been able to uh, undelete those files, so I've lost them. Doesn't matter anyway. An unboxing of this was nothing to be fair. So just be warned, you do need space on your phone. Um, I've got a bit of an old Samsung S, whatever it is, 21 or S20. I can't even remember what it is in my phone. But it's full up with junk. So I did need to delete a load of stuff off my phone. By the time I deleted all the stuff off my phone, by the time I finally, finally got this software installed, it had a firmware update. Click the firmware update button. This was sitting on my armchair in my lounge switched on because I was connected to it and then it came up with an alarm saying that this had overheated and sure enough this was hot and the battery was hot because it's been sitting there for hours so I couldn't then do the firmware update I had an absolutely bloody nightmare um, doing this 
But from now on, I think we should be okay. We should be good to go. I'll just take it over into the middle there and um, switch on, do a couple of flights. I do believe you can do some basic flights with this by switching on. I've connected the phone already. And if you connect to the phone, you do get some better settings. Um, I'll go through those at a later date. For now, I'm just going to do the training flight, which is basically switch on and take off. Um, so you can, the reason I bought this is actually with no controller. You don't need a controller with this. I might get a controller at a later date. But the idea is that I can fit in my bag with my camera, um, my uh, Insta360 Go3 S and my Osmo Pocket 3 and a battery pack and a couple of leaves which I can keep these all charged up with. I mean, that literally can fit in there. Okay. They do tell me without a controller. Now, you, I've connected it to my phone. The reason I've connected it to my phone, you do some firmware updates and you can use your phone to control it, which is great. I've not even get, I've not tried this yet. I've used my phone at home, but I've not tried it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take this off in a minute. And apparently you can do it just by pressing and holding the button, test flight. I've switched it on. My phone's in my pocket. I've been through the settings on the phone and it allows you to do follow, close, middle, further away. It allows you to do different heights. Um, when it's a circle mode drone is you can set the heights um, it's pretty fixed high medium low stuff like that but um, i think apparently you press that button at the back once and then press and hold that should be on first ever flight now i think it automatically goes into follow mode apparently if you press Drony. right i'll flip circle. through i'll flip through the different options Rocket. Back to follow, and apparently you do a train flow. You just press and hold. Medium, follow, three, two, one. There you go, it's off. Apparently it's set at medium, so it's already set at medium. Let's take the camera up. And it should automatically, it should automatically be filming me at medium height. Turn this camera around. There you go. Because I set that, I preset that in the um, app. And apparently, if I go like that, it should follow me down here. Is it following? Yeah. Now you should see that behind me. I've got active track enabled on this Osmo Pocket 3 as well, actually. Now, the other camera, the other drone, sorry, the other drone I had, the Mini 2, the DJI Mini 2, didn't do this, which is what I want it for. Walk along the riverbank with fishing rods on a carp lake. A little bit noisy, but um, that's a drone for you. There you go. It's set at medium because I preset that at medium in the app on the phone. So now if I go that way, it's following behind. Apparently, if I do that, put my hand underneath it. We're gonna land, it should just land. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm pretty impressed with that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that footage up that I just did. The first five couple of minutes of it, I'm gonna have a standard footage and I'll put a little comment below saying it's standard footage straight out of the, the um, drone. So I'll be doing that and I'll put a note there. So if, in, if ever I edit the footage, I'm gonna put at the bottom right, left or right hand corner, unedited footage or edited footage and I'll let you know what I've done to the footage. Because I know a lot of people are complaining about the um, footage. Right, I'm gonna turn this off first of all. What I'm gonna do, I'm not going to turn it off, I'm going to get my phone and I'm going to um, open up the app and then we're going to uh, connect to it with the app. Go for it. I, just want to check the, I just want to check the settings on it to be fair. I want to make sure it's not going to go miles up in the air. So it's found a DJ, it's come up connected, connect. I had my nightmare connecting this as well the other day, but it's come up connect, so it's connecting. And then I can go into the settings. All right, it's connected. So I literally can try it from there now. Right, you can go, it's on follow mode there. Drony. Um, circle. Go into settings. And then if you press on, say, for instance, circle, it's going to do two meter, four meter distance around me. Camera mode video, uh, video. 
So I don't circle. It gives a little video clip as well at the top. If I show you, uh, there you go. You get a little video clip at the top as well, so it's showing you what it's actually going to do. So I come out there, so you can order the settings. So Rocket, uh, Spotlight, Custom, Helix, 6 metres video. Um, I'm going to do 4 metres Helix. Go over to the middle there, there's no one about. I think I'm going to do Helix. I'll come back out of that, because that's meant to go up and spin around. So we do that now. Have a quick go, Just follow the camera with me, bring the camera with me. So let's take it over. I'll take my bag with me in case it gets, shouldn't get nicked, but... Great little bag, this. A lot, lot cheaper than some of them. There's some similar bags on the market. A lot, lot more money. Oops, excuse that um, microphone. Right, let's bring the camera and try to put over in the middle. Quite impressed with this so far. And as I say, this is perfect for what I want. There's a lot of negativity online about the video quality, but um, we'll see. I've not even checked it out yet, but. 4K 30 frames per second. As I say, there's an M log or D log button on the on the app, which is greyed out. Right, okay, let's have a little look. I'm just gonna go back on my phone. It's still switched on. That's why you need to have a battery. The battery's fully charged. So it's gonna do a follow. I've done a follow. I'm gonna do custom. And it's on Helix. Custom, you have Helix Boomerang Direction Track. Helix, four meters. So apparently, I don't know if I need to. I think I'll just do it on the, you got manual controls as well. I think I'll just do it on here. So he, I'm looking for Helix, am I? All right. Rocket, Spotlight, Helix. There you go, so I'll go Helix, press and hold that. Four meters. Four meters. Helix. Three, two, one. There you go. Apparently it's going to go four meters up. Around me. Four meters is pretty close. I wanted to do four meters so it's quite safe. It's going up and around. I'm hoping it's going to come back down. You can also speak to it. I've got a setting switched on where it says um, you can speak to the, your phone and it will land. Now I think it's going to come back down. Oh, no, it's going back up. What's it doing? A bit windy, come on. Oh, nice one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, let's try. I thought it was going to go up, to be fair, in a circle. And then come down in a circle. Right, let's try another one. That's Helix. It went up in a circle. I thought it was going to come down. So it went up in a circle and then back down. Let's try something different, shall we? Helix. Boomerang. What's boomerang? Aircraft circles subject in an elliptical pattern. Aircraft moves backwards and... Ascends to the point, then approaches and descends back to start point. Sounds a bit boring. Custom, boomerang, direction, track. So there, I don't know if you can see that. On there you've got direction, track. You've got close, medium and far. And then follow height, low, flat or high. So I think low is below waist. Flat is head height and then high is above you. Um, what's drone here? Aircraft faces subject and flies backwards and away. That goes up four meters. So I'm going to go for six meters. I'm going to go for six, six meters that direction, I think. Let's turn this camera around so it follows me because I don't want it going over the, the water. Height, flat, or rise. Right. So let's try that one. Um, drone. I've set it for six meters, it's going six meters up and back apparently, facing me. Let's go for it, shall we? Right, drone -y. So hold the drone. Follow, drone -y. Right. Six Press and hold. Drone -y. Three, two, one. There it goes. Um, you can't see it, hang on. 
six metres drone is going to go back up. I've set it for high, I think. And it should be recording, hopefully. Readers. Yeah, not far, is it? And it's coming back. It should just land on the palm. It's a bit windy. This is cool. I love that. Yeah, I'm actually quite loving this. It's got lovely. I've never really the other drone, don't get me wrong, did have settings in it, but it was it's just so easy just pressing the buttons on this. Because my phone's a bit out of date, it's okay, but you can't really see a lot on my old phone. Um I never bothered using it. I used to, it was in the controller, I never really bothered using the settings much. I just flew it up and around about using the control sticks, but it's great just doing these built-in ones. Um it's brilliant, but it's perfect for what I want. There's one more I want to do before I go. Um, I'll leave the tripod here a bit, I think. There's one more, it's the new one, it's just been, came in the firmware update. I think it's the follow, the, not follow, let's have a look. Drony, follow, circle, rocket. Should we try rocket? Rocket, you can, I'm going to try rocket, I'm getting excited. Rocket, you can do straight up, you can do rotation off or rotation on. So I'm going to do a 10 metre rocket, it's going to go straight up apparently, camera mode video. I hope this is recording all this. So it's on rocket, here we go. Um, I'm gonna take this camera off quick. So I can make sure I can slide that off quick. So I'll do rocket. Circle, rocket. Oh, there you go, rocket, so press and hold. 10 meters, rocket, three, two. 10 meters up. One. Apparently. And also it's gonna run. Um, is it there? I can't see it. 10 metres up. I thought I'd put it on the rotate, but obviously not. 10 metres is not that high, is it? All right. 10 metres and it should come back down, I think. A bit windy. Is it coming down or not? Yeah, it's coming down now, look. I can see it. Slowly. I should have landed on my hand, I think. Slow. Come on. I think it's been affected by the wind a little bit. There you go. Got a bit airy, it stopped a little bit there, paused. God, frighten me. Don't frighten me, Droney. Oh, I think that'll do. That's enough flights for, well, I don't know, let's do, I'm gonna have a look at the phone, do one more little flight. Let's have a little look, hang on. What else can I do? I like the follow ones, to be fair. Droney, I didn't like that. I'm gonna walk that now to six meters. Rotation on, I didn't see that rotate. Maybe it did rotate, maybe the camera rotate, I don't know. I'll have a look when I get back. Hopefully it's doing, it's, Filming automatically. I'm flipping out so I've wasted my time. Um, no, I think it's working. I hope it's working. If not, I'll be back down here another time doing this all again. All right, go fly. Let's do one more little flight. I might walk up the park then just to do a little. Um, I can actually just fly. You've got rocket here, you've got different settings there. You can just do it that, with that. Um, one other mode I wanted to do actually, come out of rocket. I want to do follow. Use your mobile device on external microphone to record audio. Right, let's have a look. I just want to try the audio out as well, and I know I'm going to I'll cut the people. The audio's not great, but apparently you can record audio, and it, you don't get the audio through your room, um, from the drone propellers. So I've got follow mode on. Tap start button to take off and start recording. I just want to just want to go into the follow mode settings first of all. Um, settings, follow. That's medium. Follow distance, close, medium, far. Follow height, low, flat, high. I'm going to have it on flat camera mode video. So it's going to follow me, but I want to follow it medium and I want to follow it flat. So that should be body height. And I'm just walk up, start walking up, back up to my car, I think. So if I come out to um, controls, if I flick start. Three, unable to take off aircraft in motion. Right, okay, stop. It wouldn't do because I think I'm wobbling it about. You've got to be dead still, I think, by the looks of it. Try it again. Three, two, right, here we go. 
Now, apparently, is that recording my voice? Quite close, mate. Right, let's walk off. Come on. I can see myself on the screen there, look. It's following me, and that's what I want. So you can imagine my tripod's like fishing gear, walking along the river bank. That's pretty cool. This is the reason I got rid of the Mini 2 and bought this one. And um, yeah, no controller. So £179 right out of the box with no controller. It's not too bad. Whoops, I'm fixing my phone man. I'm trying to keep my tripod at the same time. Hence, you need two batteries or three batteries, I think, with this. Great fun. Apparently, where is it? Right, just tap the stop button to stop current task. Use virtual joysticks to control the aircraft. I think I should put my... Yeah. That's well good. I'm well impressed with that. That's pretty cool. Let me just... Um, Sit this tripod up a bit squarer. Hopefully it's been recorded. That definitely recorded. Um, I might do one more. Manual control, excuse me, journey, circle, rocket. Direction track. Let's go into settings. I just want to see what direction track is. Custom. Direction track. Aircraft follows subjects movement in direction aircraft was in. So I think that can go in front of you or the side of you. So you can put the drone in front of you or the side of you and it will follow you doing that. So I want to do that now. Follow the distance I'm going to have as medium, follow height flat. So that'll be in front of me, hopefully. That's the plan. And then I'm going to walk back to my car. So, um, so I've got it on custom. If I put that on there like that and press start. Now apparently, so the camera's in front of me like so, okay. If I, and then it should stay in front of me. Apparently, please aim. Right, so the camera's in front of me now. And then apparently, it should follow me if I walk back. You should follow me along like that. That's at medium height. That's pretty cool. If I could speed up a little bit. I think you're getting a sound off of this phone. I'm not sure yet. But, um,. Right, let's press stop. Press stop, and I think to get it back to you, you have to do um, manual controls. So I want to go forward. Like that. Go on. There you go, that's it. Brilliant, lovely bit. I'll tell you what, I love it. I love it, absolutely love it. It's brilliant, fantastic bit of kit. Look how small that is in my hand. Fantastic bit of kit, £179 with just one battery in a tiny, tiny little box. People say it's a bit of a toy. It sort of seems like a bit of a toy, but that is high tech in that little, in that little drone there, I'm telling you. That is, I'm well impressed with that. Switching it all off now, going back to the, uh, the computer indoors and um, playing back with the video footage. Hopefully it's recorded some stuff. Download it and that. That's just with a phone and the drone. No controller, nothing. Um, a later date I might get the RC N2, I think control is bare minimum you need. But uh, that works as it is out of the box with a, with a phone. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Bit of faffing around for me to do this, to set this all up last night, purely because I didn't have enough memory on my phone. It would be great if they actually said you haven't got enough memory on your phone. When I get updates for software on my PC, it always, like for instance, DaVinci Resolve that I use, Studio, or you can get the free edition, which is fantastic. Whenever I use that software to... Um, uh, do videos there's always like an update so every couple of months there's an update and it always analyzes your pc storage first and tells you whether you've got enough space to install the update or not this thing doesn't you just open the file up and press the button hope for the best so just make sure you've got a lot of storage on your phone a newer a newer phone my phone's a bit old to be fair it's a few years old but um i'm going to turn this little thing off now i was going to call it baby i'm loving it i'm hoping the quality is pretty good uh, the footage I've seen online has been pretty good. A lot of people moan about it. I think it's been pretty good. If you're not happy with it, just edit in some software anyway. I always use my DaVinci Resolve to edit videos. Maybe it's not good enough for content creators straight out of the box. I'm not sure. We'll have a little look anyway. I'm well pleased with this. I'm really pleased with it. So all I need to do now is press 
that once and then press it long press to switch that off and that should go off put a little guard on it underneath like so and that is now it's switched off that now will just slip inside this little kind of bag i've got to rearrange it slightly inside there in that bag there i've got my insta 360 go 3s i've got my case for my um osmo pocket 3 a couple of char um, charger uh, battery pack at the back there and a small tripod everything you need in there um thank you for watching people i hope that video's been okay um as i say i paid for that out of my own pocket a real end user i've come out here completely blind today I've, there wasn't many instructions but i sort of make it up as go along with this drone it's really really i'm well impressed it's um i've had more fun with this little drone just now doing the different settings i've had before with the old drone i don't know why it's just you've got no controls just use your phone connect it to your phone switch on and go ideal i think for content creators if you're going to do like fishing videos holiday videos vlogs ideal with stuff like that i can't wait to use it more than I, I want to start using it now in a real a real situation now. instead of um a lot of people online you know it's on youtube are using these drones showing you how to use it showing you what they do but they're not actually using it in a real situation i'm gonna actually start using it in a real situation i've got a couple of holidays coming up a couple of fishing trips coming up so i'll be using it then um what's the time i think it's dinner time right oh like i didn't the only one that worried me a little bit was that um was the uh, the rocket uh, i don't like i've lost the drone in the water once in the fishing lake so i don't <laughs> i'm a bit wary of stuff like that that's why i hence i'm in the middle of this park here um i don't really want to fly over the water there are warnings in the manuals about flying over water i think if you, from what i've gathered if you've got a control a controller you should be okay but without a controller just doing your basic shots you're not okay in my experience if you go too low to water the um sensors get a bit funny with the old reflections off the water but i think if you're higher up you're okay not sure i'm not going to start doing it anytime soon anyway it's always low right i'll see you loving leave you people thank you for um for watching Please like, subscribe, like this video, right? It does help the algorithms, apparently. This is my first of my DJI Neo vi um, videos. I won't be doing loads, but I will be doing a couple of videos with some more shots. And But I'm going to start using it, actually, as a creator, content creator. And I'll put some notes in the comments below if I've used this camera. As I say, I'm shooting this on a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. That's a DJI, DJI Neo drone. Um, I'm loving the DJI stuff at the moment, I must admit that close to getting rid of the, the GoPro and getting the DJI Action 4 or 5. I think there might be a 6 coming out soon. I've got that right, I'm not sure. 19th of September, they've got some news coming out, some hanging out there, but that'll be quite expensive. But I think there's, is there a 4 out now and there's a 5 coming out or 5 out and there's a 6 out? Not sure, but I'm tempted to get rid of the, I might go all day DJI, I like the menu system, um, but I've still got the Insta360 Go 3S or whatever it's called and, and the Sony ZV-E10 to play about with as well, but uh, right. Hopefully. Waiting for your command. Oops, I'm still. I'm still. Oh, right, there's no. Right, where are we? There's no command or command. I didn't hear you clearly. Please repeat your command. Exit. I'm exiting. What you can do on this app as well on the DJI Fly app, you can use it. Um, I didn't do it today just now, but you can speak to it and do. Um, I'll tell you what. I will do it. I will do it while we're here. I will do it. Let's just do one. I want to do one. I want to do one little um, one little thing. I want to do one command. Still got two lights on the battery. It's switched on. Right, it's connected. Right, how do you do voice then? Right, here we go. There's a little button there that says voice direction track. Voice control, check settings. I think you say, um, hey Neo. No, no you don't. I didn't hear you clearly. Please repeat your command. There you go, voice wake up is hey flower. And then you got circle following. For safety, you can say land, stop, break. Right. Hey fly. Got it. Follow. Follow. That should Three, should two, take off. One. There you go. So that's now going to do like a follow command, and that's literally just voice activated. Higher. Well, I'm just going to look at some. Where is it? Right. 
father. Father. No, do I have to pay fly? Here. Father. No problem. Ah. Go on then. Move. Pay fly. Waiting for your command. Higher. Bit of wind, I don't mean that seems to work. Hey, fly. Here. Father. Very windy. It's only low down at the moment. It doesn't like the wind, this little thing. It's the only downside is because it's small and light, it doesn't like the wind. I didn't hear you clearly. Don't Please worry about it. Don't worry about it first, people. Right. Hey, fly. Got it. Land. Aircraft is already performing a task. Try again when finished. Okay. All right. That wasn't brilliant. That's, um... Well, I'm coming out of that. I might actually switch that option off. I'm not too keen on that, to be fair. There's a little, there's a little button on there. You can toggle it on and off, the um, voice commands. I don't think they're the best, to be fair. Um check settings you say hey fly you've, you've got a button there that says voice wake up initiate your voice control with a wake word do not turn off the screen or switch to other apps during this process i'm not keen on that setting to be fair i'd rather just use it the way i did anyway thank you for watching people as i said earlier please like please subscribe keep an eye on the videos there'll be a few more of these coming out hope it didn't go on too much but so as i say it's a real i'm a real user end user in the uk 179 pounds from local shops i'm going to turn off now shoot home edit this video see what we've got see what footage we've got and i'll put a note there if it's been edited or unedited and also something to do with the voice as well hopefully it's recorded some of my voice and we'll see if we can do something with that as well loving leave you people bye bye thanks for watching bye bye cheers